Guys, I bought a lot of stuff. Are you ready for this? Hey guys, it's Ishani, aka Total Makeup Junkie 101. So, as most of you guys know, if you follow me on Instagram or Twitter or if you watched Monday's video, I went to IMATS LA 2015 this last weekend. I went both Saturday and Sunday and it was a lot of fun. And if you guys want more information on exactly what IMATS is, um, I do have a vlog video up that I did with my best friend Mira and I will put a link to that here on top of my face. So. Click on my face right now if you guys want to jump to the vlog. I will also have a link to the vlog in the description box down below as well as at the end of this video if you guys missed it. I really enjoy going to IMATS every year. This is my sixth year in a row going and it's kind of an accomplishment to say that I have gone six years in a row. That's a lot, but I really enjoy it because you get to see a lot of new makeup brands or a lot of makeup brands that sometimes either don't have stores or they don't sell their products in stores. So a lot of indie or smaller makeup brands. Most of the brand's products are discounted about 20 to 40%. But do keep in mind that not all brands are discounted. Some brands go just to show some new products that they're launching. A lot of times they do kind of a launch preview type thing at IMATS. So before it's even officially launched in stores or on their online site, you can actually get it in person at the show. Either way, I collected a ton of stuff over the two days that I went, so let's jump into all the goodies. My first stop, the second I walked into the convention, was the Dose of Colors booth. Now, if you guys don't know what Dose of Colors is, it is a... Um, kind of indie, smaller makeup brand that does mainly lip products. They have very, very popular lipsticks, lip glosses, matte liquid lipsticks. The reason I wanted to run over there first and foremost is because they released a brand new shade of their matte liquid lipsticks and it was a limited edition shade and I knew it was gonna sell out. And for one lipstick that I purchased at that booth, I got this giant bag. Can we just talk about how enormous this bag is? Because you guys ready to see the lipstick that I got? There it is. I'm not gonna lie, the bag was slightly a waste in my opinion. Actually, no, it was totally a waste in my opinion because like I said, they specialize in lip products. And I understand why they did this because so many people were walking around the convention with this giant dose of colors bag. So it was essentially like free advertising to them. They totally did not need the free advertising that the bag was giving because the line was two to three hours long. I stood in line for two hours for this liquid lipstick. This is in the shade Black Rose. It is a very, very pretty kind of dark blood red type color you can see here, but I will say lip color wise, I've definitely seen things that are very, very similar to this. I'm sure that this year is going to essentially be the year of the liquid lipsticks. I'm calling it right here, right now. Anastasia Beverly Hills released 20 brand new shades of liquid lipsticks. And I do believe she has one in her line that is similar to this as well. So not like incredibly unique if you happen to miss out on it because as I said it is limited edition and they made a very very limited supply of these but it is pretty and I do love the dose of colors liquid lipstick formula I think it is a great formula very very long wearing very similar to the lime crime velveteens in case you guys can't tell yet this is gonna be a slightly chatty haul video and kind of an informal haul video because I'm not going to do swatches of everything that I'm showing because there's a lot. Right after I was done with the Dose of Colors booth, I ran over to the Sugar Pill booth. And surprisingly, the Sugar Pill booth this year wasn't too crazy. If you guys don't know what Sugar Pill is, it is another brand that basically specializes in eye products. They have gorgeous, gorgeous loose eyeshadows, some of the most unique colored eyeshadow pigments I've ever seen in the makeup world ever. They also have really gorgeous eyelashes, like false eyelashes. I believe they're expanding their line to include 
include some other things like brushes and nail polishes and such, but mainly their loose pigments is what I go for. I got all 10 of the new Sugar Pill loose pigments. They come in a really, really cute box like this. So as far as the shades that I bought from Sugar Pill, they released nine brand new loose eyeshadows that are a part of their permanent line, but they were brand new releases at the show. And they released one, which is a limited edition color. And the limited edition one is called Pastel. And it is just this really, really pretty, kind of like a light baby pink with like gold shimmer in it. I don't think you're gonna be able to see that because of all the lights that are blaring at me, but it is so pretty. And the picture that you're seeing here is a look that someone created that Sugar Pill posted on their Instagram page. And this look just convinced me that I needed this color in my life. So as far as the nine new permanent shades that I picked up, the swatch picture here you're seeing is one that Sugar Pill posted on their Instagram page. From left to right, I got Countess, which is a gorgeous, sparkly, burgundy shade. Penelope is the second one, which is a gorgeous, coppery, glittery bronze. Then Charmy is kind of the slightly peachy, salmon-y coral color. Grand Tiara is a replacement of their original color, which was Tiara, which was discontinued. Grand Tiara is an extremely, extremely sparkly, almost holographic silver. Then we have Mint Soda, which is a gorgeous, like minty, bright lime green. Clickbait is the kind of forest green kind of color. Then Hug Life is the uh, turquoisey greeny blue. Holy Ghost is kind of that royal cobalt blue shimmery color. And then at the end is Strangling, which is the last like royal purple. I don't think any picture or even if I did a swatch on video will really show you the complexity of each of the shades. I'm actually wearing one of the shades right now. The shade I am wearing is Countess and it is the gorgeous kind of burgundy. This one basically reminds me of a Marsala. It is so complex. Not only is it kind of that Marsala super sparkly rusty reddish brown but it's got very 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 small almost like a blue glitter in it so it just pops even more it looks really really unique I have no eyeshadow that is like this okay the next thing that I got are some really really exciting lipsticks and they're exciting to me because they are by a brand that is very, very inexpensive. These are by a brand called J Cat. Now, if you guys are familiar with J Cat, they do a lot of collaboration things with Ipsy. So I've gotten so many J Cat beauty items in my Ipsy bag. J Cat just released a line of lipsticks. These are called the Poutolic lipsticks. And they had, I believe, 15 or 20 different shades to pick from. So a ton of variety. And not just like normal lipstick colors, but they had colors that were very, very reminiscent of the NYX Macaroon or the NYX um, The Wicked lipsticks that they just released, and they remind me so much of those lipsticks all the way down to the packaging. The packaging on these J-Cat lipsticks is pretty much identical to the NYX Macaroon or the Wicked Lippies. They have kind of that clear center here. The top just pops off and then, you know, it's just a traditional lipstick bullet. And you can see by the color I'm holding up here, they're unique to say the least. The shade I have here is called You Only Live Once and it is a um, lime green. I also got some other fun ones like this one which is called Cracking Up and this is a really unique kind of like a bright sky blue and I'm not going to do swatches in this video because I'm thinking of doing a separate review video. So if you guys are interested in a separate review video on these, let me know. They were selling them at the show for four for ten dollars. So that makes each one like a around two bucks a piece. Another fun one I got is this one, which is called Like for Like. And this one is more of a traditional lipstick color. It's kind of a bright salmon-y coral, but they had so, so many to pick from. And I just picked the ones that I thought were unique to my collection because when it comes to inexpensive lipsticks, if I can get a really different or unique color, like this one called Man Candy Mom, Man Candy Mon. What does that even mean? I don't even know. 
Um, something like this, which is kind of almost like a slate grayish blue. If I can get a color like this for around two bucks, I know this isn't going to be my everyday lipstick color, but I love to play around with stuff like this. And for an inexpensive brand with really good pigmentation and pretty decent quality, I'm excited to check them out. And I did end up picking up eight of these. So I didn't show you all the colors, but that's because, like I said, I'm planning on doing a separate review. So let me know if you guys are interested in that. Okay, next up, I walked over to a booth that I'm always afraid to walk near because I always get suckered in to buying something because this is a brand of brushes that I don't know what stores you can actually get these brushes from, but essentially this is the cream of the crop, creme de la creme. Basically, these are the Louis Vuitton of brushes. These are the best makeup brushes ever. And these are the Hakuhodu makeup brushes. I went a little crazy at the Hakuhodu booth this time because last year was my first year purchasing Hakuhodu brushes and I bought two because they're expensive. I bought two face brushes and I fell in love with them. I use them all the time. I'm always not afraid to mention them, but I always just don't like to mention them because they're expensive. Literally, I think I paid $80 per face brush last year, which is crazy. Luckily, their eye brushes I don't think are too expensive. Their eye brushes are right around the price of a MAC eye brush. So I think that's very reasonable considering the quality of these is superb. These are all handmade, I believe in Japan. If you guys have the opportunity to even just feel a Hakuhodu brush, they feel like air. Like it's like you're like rubbing it and it's like you're feeling like the cleanest, softest air ever. I picked up eight eye brushes and one face brush. And the reason I picked up all that I did is because I really, really wanted some more um, good crease brushes because all of the crease brushes I have, I've realized they're all kind of big for placing color very precisely in the crease. It's never really been a problem until I started wanting to do more intricate eye makeup looks. Hakuhodu brushes come in two different hairs. Mainly they have the goat hair, which is the white bristles, and the blue squirrel hair, which is the black or like the dark brown bristles. Here are the four goat hair eye brushes I picked up from top to bottom. The top one is is J146, then we have J5529, and the last two pencil brushes don't have numbers on them for some reason. But basically I picked these up because these two crease brushes I was just in love with. Initially I was just gonna get this bigger one because it kind of reminded me of the MAC 222. Uh, maybe this one comes to a slight more taper. I don't have the MAC 222, it's a discontinued brush. But I was excited to find one that I thought was pretty similar. And then I picked up this one because it's a little bit shorter, if you guys can see. The bristles are a little bit shorter, and so I thought this would be nice to place crease color exactly where I want it. And then I got these two pencil brushes because I realized I don't have any pencil brushes that are A, I don't have one that's this small, but also I don't have any that are very, very soft. Um, to use on my lower lash line because all the pencil brushes I have, like the ones from Sigma, and I even have one from MAC, is really, really scratchy. And these are the four uh, blue squirrel haired eye brushes that I got from Hakuhodu. Unfortunately, none of these four have names on it for whatever reason, but I got this really, really long, slightly tapered crease brush, mainly for blending. I thought this was a really unique shape. I don't have any uh, crease brush that's this long. And then I got this small little dome crease brush because I always love something small like this to really just place color. This one I think was probably my personal favorite because it's got such a small little tip to really help 
apply crease color exactly where I want it. You guys can see exactly what I was looking for. I told you I was looking for those crease brushes. And then another pencil brush, which is quite a bit bigger than the other two goat haired pencil brushes I got. I'll show you for comparison. These are the three pencil brushes that I ended up getting. And you can see there's like a baby, a mommy, and then a big daddy. And then as far as the face brush that I got, I only picked up one because the Hakuhodu face brushes, as I said, are very, very expensive. I bought two at IMATS last year and I just ended up going with this one. It's a smaller face brush. This is the J511. I like this one a lot because it's not very dense and it's not very big. If you guys can see it compared to my face, I did not buy this for blush or highlight. I bought this for contour. I do not have a contour brush that I love yet. I've tried so many contour brushes. I have the infamous NARS Eda brush. I don't love it. I think it's just okay. The bristles are really scratchy and it hurts a little. And I don't think it blends contour out or applies it as well as I would like. I thought this one would be nice because it is nice and small and it's not too dense so I don't think it'll pick up too much product and it is just that perfect shape to just kind of apply your contour right in the hollows of your cheeks where you want it so and of course the bristles are like incredibly soft so I will definitely keep you guys updated on how I like this brush and whether I think it's worth the spend this one was a slightly pricier brush I believe it was about $38 or so so not cheap but you know for a good contour brush the Eda brush is like $50 so I figured if I like this one better it's cheaper okay the next products I got are something that I did Instagram about and I am so excited to try these lip products I really really hope they don't let me down because I think these are the coolest idea ever I stumbled across the Kaylin booth and Kaylin is spelled like this and if you guys are familiar with Ipsy and the products that Ipsy puts out to their um, subscribers or their I guess subscribers, you subscribe to Ipsy, right? So either way, Kaylin is a brand that does send out products in Ipsy bags. And to be honest, I've never really thought too much of the brand. Not that I thought it was bad, but I also didn't think it was that great. I just thought it was an okay brand. I thought their products were very, very overpriced. But, and I also didn't think they came out with anything different. But these are so different to me. This is such a unique concept. Very, very innovative. These are a cocoon lip stain is what they call them. So the lady was demonstrating them at the booth and essentially what it is, is a lip gloss type item that comes in a traditional squeezy tube lip gloss packaging. And what you do is you apply them onto your skin. You can apply a thick layer if you want it to be super, super pigmented and dark or a thin layer if you want it to be very light and like a barely there type stain quality. And then you let it set on your lips for about 10 minutes. And then after 10 minutes, it'll kind of dry almost like a peel off mask. And then what you do is you just peel it off your lips, just like a peel off mask. It'll all come off in like one big strip and your lips are left with a very, very prominent stain. Technically you're left with no product on your lips, but your lips are just literally stained by the product. And the stain is supposed to last for 10 hours on your lips as well, which is really cool so excited to try these out they had four different shades and i picked up all four of them i will definitely keep you guys updated on what i think of these next thing i got are more brushes and i know you guys are probably like seriously woman how many makeup brushes do you need but the reason i got this is because i actually genuinely needed this I think this is a need and I actually really did need a travel makeup brush set because I went to Vegas over New Year's if you guys once again follow me on Instagram or have watched any of my videos around New Year's you guys know I went to Vegas and when I went I realized I don't have any travel makeup brushes um, a lot of times when I travel I don't take that much makeup with me but when I went to Vegas for New Year's of course I wanted to look slightly cute I ended up having to pack my full size brushes in a full size brush roll and that took up you know a good amount of space for just makeup brushes so I popped by the Royal and Ling nickel booth because I didn't want to pay a ridiculous amount for a set of travel makeup brushes because 
I don't travel that often to where I need like Hakuhodu status makeup brushes. That was only 20 or $25, which I thought was really reasonable for what you get. You get nine makeup brushes and a makeup brush holder. And this is the Guilty Pleasures Wrath set. They also had a couple different variations on this Guilty Pleasures line. There was a green, a blue, and a red. And then I ended up getting the purple because I just died when I saw purple makeup brushes. This is what the little holder looks like. There is a little plaque here that says Royal and Langnickel. And if you guys see this little holder, it looks very, very familiar to like a little Sigma brush holder. Here you can see what the brushes look like. They have a very, very short handle, which is perfect for traveling because no need to take long handle makeup brushes in your suitcase. And you can see the bottom part of the bristles here is like a dark purple and they kind of fade up into like a black at the top. The ferrule here is also like a metallic purple and the handle is black. So this one here is the large powder brush. You also get a small kind of like a contour or almost like an angled blush brush. You get one foundation brush. This is like the typical flat foundation brush. This is the small shader brush. Crease brush, which needs to be washed because it's kind of flattened. Smudger brush, so it's almost like a small pencil style brush. You have a mini flat shader and then an angled brow brush, which is very, very small and would definitely work as a gel liner brush as well. I thought for nine little brushes and this little brush holder, I didn't think $25 was too bad, so I was really happy to get that. And then wrapping up this haul, I feel like I've been talking for a year and a half. I apologize this was a chatty haul, but I did warn you, sort of. Um, I did stumble across the eye candy booth. Now, eye candy specializes in cosmetic glitters. I ended up getting seven glitters and their little um, glitter adhesive. Now, I already have this glitter adhesive in my collection, but I did purchase it about five years ago. I think I got it the second time I went to IMAT, so that was five years ago, and I figured I should probably just get a new one just for sanitary purposes. Um, so this is their little liquid sugar sprinkles base is what it's called. Essentially, you take a little bit of this on your brush, you dip it in the glitter, and then you apply it. And this is the best glitter adhesive I have ever used in my life. It's very, very liquidy and it dries down really quickly. And once it dries, it locks your glitter into place. Your glitter will not smudge, budge. It will not fall on your face. It will not flake. I really enjoy this as a glitter adhesive and it makes using glitter as an eyeliner really easy. As far as the glitters that I got, unfortunately, some of them don't have names on them, which is kind of irritating. I'm gonna have to look it up and put my own label on it because that's going to bug me. But this one I believe is called Autumn Leaves, Autumn something. It's one of the new ones that they released and I believe it's limited edition. It is so, so pretty. It's kind of like a peachy, goldy, greeny. It really does look like autumn leaves. Like, this one was another new one that they released and once again I don't know the name of it because it's not labeled on the bottom but it's just this gorgeous like white frosty white silver color. And then these two which are also new and maybe limited edition which are labeled. Uh, this one is twilight which is kind of a dark charcoal gray and this one is starry night which is a dark black with like blue glitters in it. And I also got sugar cane which is this really really pretty kind of goldy browny coppery glitter. This one's a little bit more chunky and it's so so pretty. This is a part of their permanent line and so are these two. This one is called Icing, which is oh, like a mermaid in a glitter. It's like a blue, turquoise, teal, gold color. And then this one, which is Jelly Bean. And this is stunning. It's like a really pretty purpley, pinky, aqua, like iridescent, just gorgeousness. And it came in this cute little bag. How adorable is that? I think that's just so cute. Alrighty guys, so that wraps up my iMats haul video. I told you guys I got quite a bit and then of course I rambled a little bit because it's just what I do. As always, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please definitely let me know in the comments down below if you guys want to see reviews on anything that I showed you guys or that I mentioned. I will be more than happy to do a full in-depth review video because I know it was a little hard to 
to show some products and I didn't show you every color of every product I got. I figured I would save that for an in-depth review video because this video was long enough as it is. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will catch you guys on my next video on Monday. I'll see you then. Bye! Let's show our bracelets. Look at our iMats bracelets. They're matching. By bracelets, I mean you may want to run to your drugstore as soon as possible and check these out.